What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for Ray Chantal did a video today, and it said a lot of words, but it didn't speak to a lot of actions. And what I mean by this primarily is Chantal has went through these videos countless times. We are going to see how serious Chantal is based on her actions. When going forward, we see her not talk about TikTok foods, viral foods, recipes she saw. When we see the removal of a serving platter from her mukbangs. When we see rice substituted with anything other than another carb. When, most importantly, we hear a mentality of, I'm not going to eat this food continually. And what I mean by that is, Chantal has pretty much stuck to a couple steadfast routines. One of them has been the last hurrah. I'm going to have this for the last time. Go back to Canada. She went and got all the junk food she wanted and said, this is it. How many times has she went on and got fast food and said, this is it. There are so many people that don't display that trait. There's so many people that understand that moderation is key to being successful. They don't need to go and gorge on things they know aren't healthy because they're going to get them out of their life. Chantal does and then revisits it. The other part of this is we've heard continually from Chantal, I don't want to talk about my health. My health doesn't need to be a part of my channel. Yet she continues to sit here and eat all these foods. And if she doesn't want her health to be a topic, then she shouldn't be mentioning it. Because whatever she talked about today, this mysterious diagnosis, all these mysterious symptoms, this sudden weight loss, no one would have said anything about it if she hadn't brought it up. And Chantal, to my second point, is infamous for going out, self-diagnosing herself, Finding what ailments match to a certain issue, proclaiming she has that, but then also writing her own prescription for health. I have XYZ based on my symptoms, and I'm going to solve it by ZYX. Look no further than the collagen she's been taking. She created an issue with her knees. She carried that through to needing to do water-based exercises to be low impact, and then the collagen provided a cure to something that was never technically diagnosed. Now, granted, we're not going to watch Chantel's content and presume she doesn't have issues with her knees, as we've talked about multiple times. She's lugging around quite a bit of extra weight. But I do want to talk about that weight in the form of weigh-ins, because there are so many people on not just this, but various health platforms that somehow find a way to be successful in whatever journey they have for fitness, be it weight loss, be it body composition, without having to constantly lie, without having to constantly make excuses, and in some cases, without constantly having to show their body every single week. Chantal can come on here as much as she wants and talk about the health problems she has, but the reality is no one is going to feel sorry for her because the people that wanted her to seek help have grown tired of the same pattern. Just like with whatever she wants to go self-diagnose with, Chantal believes she can cure all her issues with food. She felt that Canada was the best option, then Kuwait was the best option. I think you'll be hard-pressed to find one person that would not say inpatient is probably the only option. I would say after watching Chantal for years that I strongly believe without inpatient, she is never going to get better. The reason I feel that way is currently I believe Sala is, in a way, aiding her in doing this. He's going out, he's bringing the foods in, she's eating the foods, and he's beating the pattern. When she was back in Canada, at least she was more mobile. 
but she did have to get out of the house to order the food she shouldn't have, and it was clear based on what her mother was feeding her, for the most part, she was getting smaller portions in foods that maybe she shouldn't have been having, but at least there was some type of control over her diet when she was with her aunt, who's a vegetarian. Chantal actually did seem to do better in Canada because all of those little things were happening. Now, she's just sitting in the apartment all day, waiting for Sala to bring in whatever groceries, whatever re-up, whatever takeout. It's obvious. Chantal cannot do this on her own. And that's not any type of slight on her. She has quite a bit that she has to overcome, both physical and mental. And it would be outrageous for any of us to sit here and presume that she can just snap her fingers one day, wake up, and not have all these issues. But we also can't make the same connection that she can wake up with a new diagnosis, with different medications, and is somehow still not giving transparent information. She said that she's went to doctors that prescribed things that weren't relative to what she was going to be prescribed by a normal physician. She said that she's went to doctor's offices and shown us where weigh-ins don't make a lot of sense. She said that she's went to doctor's offices that clearly whatever is going on with her feet weren't being addressed. And I'm not saying every time you go to a doctor or when she was back in Canada, every time you go to a hospital, they do a whole head-to-toe check, but I would wager to say if Chantal went in with the type of blood sugar she has, most competent medical professionals are going to check circulation in her hands, in her feet, which simply looking at her videos have created cause for concern. Chantal clearly doesn't want to get better because in part her income is dependent on her not getting better. And that is a huge hurdle she has to overtake because that is also the reason why YouTube has constantly changed its terms of service because they don't want people exploiting any illness to make income for themselves because they'll never get better when they're dependent on doing the thing that makes them sick to also pay their bills. Chantal has looked every opportunity in the face and turned from it whether it was trying to get her own place in Canada to stay there to have her WLS, whether it was having friends and family there to support her, like Pete's when he was making all their meals, whether she was going out like she was with Sala and getting the prepackaged meals. Everything has failed. There's one common denominator, and guess who it is? Chantal. Another 20 minutes talking about this what appears to be another hour of just frolicking around in the pool isn't going to fix all these deep-rooted mental issues and incredible physical issues. The fact that she's sitting here talking about having a six-pack, being some type of bodybuilder, it's not funny. It's absolute disillusion. She thinks, seriously, that Japan and Mount Everest are viable options when she can't even go to the store. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this. I will be back to cover whatever she does in her swim stream as soon as I can with more commentary.